Tiny. Set up, connect, select, and capture the universe. Connect to device, okay, yep. I'm just going to follow the instructions. This is just uh, like the first try. <laughs> so uh, let me go and check something here on the settings first. Let me be sure that the location is correct, yep. I wanna go now to home. I need to find not the atlas, but the sun. Photography, we'll just go ahead and click on uh, live. Okay, so it's giving me the instructions here, the shooting mode, shooting settings, toolbox, start exploring. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and do the uh, sun. Okay, in the app, move the sun to the center and um, let's see, do it now. I, I haven't seen it opening yet, so it's not opening. Unless I have to open it manually, I guess it is. Seems like that's that's it right there. And now I'm going to just to use the joystick. Let's see. There it is. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then the next step, it's going to be just to track. And now we are on it. I saw something about this that it does this kind of like closes and then comes back okay tracking the Sun but it's not there yet it's not in the right position I need to see the joystick again so let me just see where the joystick is I don't know, I don't see where the joystick is. Um, and I am definitely off. Okay, so what it is, is that uh, you have to stop uh, tracking in order to, uh, for the joystick to show up. Okay, let me go ahead and see it here. That's kind of like where we are. I believe it's right there in the center. Let me just move it a little bit more there. Ensure that ND filter is applied, which is there. Uh, move the sun to the center of the telephoto and tap on focus. Okay, so let's just, now it needs to be a uh, focus. Move the sun into frame. Okay. Uh, then focus. Let's do an out of focus and see what happens. It's extremely windy right now. Oops. Uh, let me kind of like center a little bit more and a little bit less. And this is the part that um, it's a little bit difficult with this joystick because it doesn't have this, the dial, the speed dial. So it goes to the wrong place. The reason it's moving is because it's not tracking yet. I may have to leave it right there and let me just go ahead and track. 
And I believe it does this. I thought I saw something from somebody. It closes and goes up again. Let's see how accurate. Okay, we're good. It's right there. God, look at that, an airplane. <laughs> what a lucky shot, well actually this is very beautiful. That was a lucky shot right there. It happens a lot, but I had, this is the first time for me. See, uh, gain zero, one over 250, that seems right. And the reason why it's getting better and better is because it's already stacked 19 images. It's a very fast shutter speed, 1 over 250. And now it is, so now I can see my image. Well, thank you so much for watching. And now it's time for the results. Let's take a look at those images. Okay, so this is the uh, album from the uh, telescope. And this is where all the images are going to be stored and ready for editing uh, using Stellar Studio or not. And this is uh, the first image that I was able to capture here with the telescope. And as you can see, the sunspots. I mean, actually, that, that was a pretty good image. And then I took a second image with uh, different settings. And now we can see more of the uh, sunspots there and this is absolutely fantastic for a tiny telescope less than two pounds all in one including editing i'll see you in the next few days